is Mohammed Fayrouz. I've composed song cycles, art songs, symphonies, operas, oratorios, musical theater works, and pretty much everything else. I love creating music. Every new piece is a process of discovery. I love engaging in that learning process. I love engaging poetry and poets. I love bringing text to life, both in my vocal works and in my non-vocal works. So my song is based upon um, a play by Taufik al-Hakim, the great Egyptian playwright, called Urniyat al Mot or The Song of Death. The play was written in the 50s, and it's known to every sort of literate person in the Arab world. The play is about a young man who uh, comes back to his village after living his entire life in the big city in Cairo, and coming back and trying to bring things to his village that the villagers had not seen before, like build schoolhouses, bring electricity, bring running water, improve the general quality of life. When he returns, his mother actually expects him to fulfill a vendetta that she has against a man that she believed murdered his father. He refuses to kill. In so doing, she threatened the entire fabric of his society, and so, um, at the hand of his own mother, he's killed. To stage an opera like Semedo's song now and to say that it's appropriate would be an understatement. It's the concerns that are acting themselves out in the lives of millions and millions of people around the world. It's a best opportunity for serving my purpose. Unwritten is three sonnets on texts of David Shapiro, um, contemporary poet. And I have a tendency to deal with very light topics, so obviously the, uh, the death of Socrates I had to deal with at some point. We martyr people to truth often. It's a story that we as human beings are very comfortable with. wonderful mezzo-soprano and I, Kate Lindsay, met over Alma Mahler and decided to write a song cycle that sets the words of Alma Mahler from her diaries and correspondence. For the first time in musical history, we're actually dealing with the setting of the words of Alma Mahler. associated with all of these illustrious men, Gustav Klimt, Oskar Kokoschka, Walter Gropius, Werfel, and so on and so forth, and we overlook how incredible of a woman she was. brown, white, Jewish, male, female, it doesn't matter, gay, straight, whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. That's what's exciting about today's cosmopolitanism, and that's what's so scary to so many people, but what can be overcome through musical and social counterpoint. Tonight we're presenting Tahrir for Clarinet and Orchestra with David Krakauer, a um, wonderful uh, clarinetist who's infused the uh, klezmer idiom in his blood unlike anyone else, for whom I've written this concerto. It's an honor for me to work with amazing, talented people.
Tahrir takes its name from Tahrir Square, where through Facebook, through Twitter, and all sorts of different social networking, young people manage to bring down a regime uh, of 30 years. You know, who could be um, up on their rooftops proclaiming what a great thing? It's a great moment in humanity. I hope that Tahrir can be expanded into a multi-movement concerto featuring David Krakauer, that it can be performed to commemorate what was really an extraordinary year. <laughs>